Hello everyone and welcome to our latest episode of Gopher Hall, a web show for the green industry professionals and lawn care operators. Today we'll be talking about many interesting topics. First off, remember the Gopher Hall we were performing for Blaine, our friend from Louisiana, who lost everything in the Katrina hurricane? Well, the final designs are in and Blaine is getting a whole bunch of free stuff shipped to him. Tony from amw-graphics.com is giving us a little inside look at how you apply vinyl stickers to your vehicle or signs. We're going to learn what's better to use, postcards or brochures, thanks to Cheston of LawnCareMarketingMagic.com. And lastly, we will see some crazy mower modifications. Make sure you catch the entire episode. We will have some giveaways offered during the show. Now for some lawn care operator business tips. This is a question that came into our friend Cheston of LawnCareMarketingMagic.com. The question is, what do you feel is a better marketing tool, postcards or brochures? I feel with brochures, I can get more info to the potential customer, such as all the services I could provide, as well as some photos of some of the customer's lawns. What do you think? Here's a summary of what Cheston answered. To review the full answer, make sure you check out his website. As you, as you no doubt know, sending brochures is much more expensive than postcards. But as you stated, they allow you to tell a much more complete story and include more things like photos, testimonials, etc. If your budget allows, I would certainly suggest going the brochure route. If you decide to go that way, keep these tips in mind when creating your brochure. First off, if possible, definitely include some pictures of your work, but don't crowd it with too many pictures. Leave some room for your sales message. Second, don't be afraid to use lots of text to tell your story and deliver your sales message. If you were sending a salesman to the door, you wouldn't limit him to 250 words or less, would you? Definitely not, and you don't want to do the same to your marketing material. Thirdly, be sure to start your brochure off with a attention-grabbing headline. Just because they receive it doesn't mean they're going to read it. You need to give them some reason for reading. Fourthly, don't just list your services or features. Everything you say must be as much about the potential customer as possible. So take everything you think you want to say about all the services you offer and translate those into benefits for the customer. For example, 15 years experience. We have the knowledge and experience necessary to ensure the job gets done right the first time and without any unnecessary problems or expenses. Fifth, present an offer that invites them to contact you for additional information or for a low risk trial of your services. If you're going to spend any money on producing these brochures, you'd be silly not to make them some type of offer that gets them to at least contact you for more information. If you have some customer testimonials, use them too. Just as with pictures, letting your satisfied customers tell the story go, will go a long way towards reducing the skepticism felt by your prospects. Give them a number of different ways to respond and then tell them exactly how you'd like them to respond. For example, give them your office number and tell them to call during the hours of 8, 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Or give them your website and tell them to log on and fill out the request and estimate form. Don't assume they know what they need to do to respond. You need to tell them specifically. Well, thanks, Cheston, for those great words of advice, as always. If you have any marketing questions, contact Cheston at www.lawncaremarketingmagic.com. What's next? How about some mower mods? This month's mower mods were sent to us from our friend Kelvin of ExtremeMowerMayhem.com. Check out his site when you get a chance. This creation is known as the Crypt Keeper Monster Mower. It features a rack and pinion steering, modified frame and components, 39-inch Mickey Thompson tires, power mirrors, car alarm, auto start, three-speed lawnmower transaxle, and how fast does it go? How about 22 miles per hour? Sound like fun? Nice work, Kelvin. You guys sure know how to have a good time. Let's now take a look at our Gopher Hall of the Month. Here is a story put together from some of the messages Blaine sent us. Check out these pictures Blaine sent us from his neighborhood. Everything seems to be damaged by the flooding. Hello, I'm Blaine from Southeast Louisiana. The area I live in was one of the hardest hit by Hurricane Katrina. I ran my business for about five years before the storm. Since the Hurricane Katrina, I lost all my tools and equipment. This is my first slow season and it gets kind of scary to me. After we heard Blaine's story, we knew he needed some support. So we got Blaine hooked up with a gopher haul. 
the first thing we did was contact our friend Bob from plan graphicscom and we asked him if he could help us out in any way. And wow, did he help out. Let's check in to see what he did. Bob contacted Blaine and started to work right away on a logo. Here are a few concepts he came up with. After the logo design was finalized, he next worked on a postcard design. Then he made Blaine some business cards as well. After all was said and done, Blaine got his logo designed, business cards, and postcards designed. And to top it all off, Bob even printed them and sent Blaine a package of new business cards and postcards to get him back on his feet. Blaine, I hope this year is your best year yet, and thank you again Bob from plan graphicscom for all the design and print work that you did. Great job! Next up, let's check in with Tony of amw-graphics.com. He's going to show you a little about how he makes vinyl signs and how to install them. This is some interesting stuff. Today, Tony Woodruff, owner of AMW Graphics and Signs, is going to walk us through some of the processes involved in vinyl sign making, which includes layout, design, production, and installation. Let's take a closer look at the project that Tony's created for us today. Tony put this design together for our friends at Gopher Software. In the design process, all colors used must be separated. In our project today, you'll see the image and then the outline for each of the three colors used in this project. When these three images are combined, the design process is now complete. The three pieces of vinyl that you see now, black, yellow, and white, are the cut vinyl for this project. Now you see the yellow vinyl has been applied to the black. The white vinyl above will be applied over the black and yellow vinyl. You are now looking at the completed portion of this project. All that is left to be done is apply the top layer of tape which will allow you to position and install your vinyl. When you're satisfied with the placement of your sign, use masking tape to secure the placement as in the example shown here. Other signs may require a different installation process. Separate the backing from the vinyl on approximately one half of the sign as you see here. You need to then cut the backing away from one half of the design using scissors, razor blade, or a knife, being careful not to scratch the application surface. Carefully using firm pressure, use a squeegee from the center to the outside edges. Now that you have one half of the sign applied, remove the masking tape and repeat the process on the other side. When both sides have been applied, re-squeegee the whole sign from the center out, as shown in this part of the video. When removing the top layer of tape, pull the tape off at approximately a 45 degree angle keeping the tape as close to the surface of your sign. And now your sign is finished. Thanks Tony for the great information. Does your company need a gopher haul? If you do, please send us an email to support at gophersoftware.com. Tell us a little bit about your company and your situation. And who knows, we may be working to help improve your business next. And if you're looking for great software to run your business, download Gopher Software. It's the premier billing and scheduling software designed specifically for the landscaping and green industry. When you visit our site, www.gophersoftware.com, you're also going to find a lot of free goodies. There's free contracts, free web templates, door hanger, and flyer templates. There's just a lot of stuff there. We certainly hope we've been able to help you out. As always, remember to dream it, build it, Go for it.